you guys so do we tell them how we met? We've had people ask ask how we have met. So do we tell them? Uh, Madeline says yes. Tell us how you met. Okay. So, Dad's sister. No, not really. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. So do you know how we Wasn't met? Wasn't it? Uh, I think Let's it see was, if Dave knows how we met. I thought it was his sister was traveling to like Texas or something. Yeah. And so they were like meeting up at that one chocolate shop or something. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then his sister was just like, oh, I'm going to go over here and do this stuff. And you just sit there. And he was just sitting there with, you know, his heart eye, his heart pupils and everything. And then he just went up to mom and was like, hey, can I have chocolate, please? And then, you know, <laughs> and he went to a whole spiel about, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, Dave's yeah. actually pretty right. So, <laughs> like, Mike's sister, sure. I worked with Mike's sister at the fudge shop in Estes Park, and she um, was leaving to go to Texas, and that was her last day of work, and he came in to say goodbye to her, but then... She wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> his sister wouldn't talk to him, so he started talking to me, and then we had our first date the next day. Woohoo! And the rest was history. It was the Fudge Works of Estes. Yep. And Which is not no called the Fudge there. Works of Estes. It's still a fudge shop, but it's a different one. Yeah. It's not the best one anymore, though. No, it's not. <laughs> another, another, what, company took over, and it's not as good now as it used to be. But what else is, what else is new? Uh, so Simply Joyful says, it. I think you guys need to go back to that chocolate shop. You know what? It's it's not very far from us. It's like forty miles from us, yeah. so we go up there fairly regularly. Although we we often go in there and say, "Oh, wasn't that oh. wonderful? We met here." Let's go across the street and buy fudget Loris. <laughs> <laughs> because the people that bought it out, it's just not as good as it no. was. Uh -uh. But still, we we point it out to the kids whenever we go by. Yeah, not that they care, but. So this is the anniversary of the day we met. It's How many Jody's days? Birthday. 24 years ago, too. Woo! Man, we're Rhonda's getting to right, the old in Estes farts. Park. Yep, in Estes Park. That's where we met. So, oh, Tasha was first. Okay, Tasha, well, email me. Well, actually, there, there's, there's another one that. that oh, there's like that four people that say they were first. Well. That's why I was thinking we should think that out a little more ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Uh oh. You know me. I don't think out. I don't think ahead. Apparently not. That's okay. I still love you. Um. The day we went steady. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh. All right. So you're so looking for So we only questions? dated six months before we Next were married. Next day, Mike works quickly. Well, Mike was afraid. Oh, that's a big surprise. But. <laughs> But once we were talking, I'm like, come on, tomorrow. <laughs> well, and she had, that night, she had a, her uh, landlady was having a party downstairs from where she was. So she was having to. Well, she was wanting me to come down to this party, but I didn't really want to go to this party. <laughs> and so Mike happened to call me on the phone. And so I had that good excuse to not go to the party. I was not really a party animal. So, oh, wait. thankfully, he, um... Wait, Dad's sister was... No, my landlord was having oh, a party. Oh, your landlord. Um, and Thank so, thankfully, <laughs> he called, so I had that excuse to get out of the party then. But, yeah, I lived Well, she kept saying, I, I'm supposed to be taking chairs down to them. I need to go do that. And then she said, well, I'll wait a few minutes to do that. And, like, two hours later... <laughs> yeah. So... Anyway, Sharon wants um, to know: Do you ever make peppermint soap? I do. Yeah, I might make it again. I don't know if I have any peppermint. I think I'm out of peppermint fragrance right now. Shannon says, "Tell us your love story." That was it. Did you talk about the national park thing? I was I was looking at the comments. Oh no, we just on our first date we walked around the national park and looked all over everywhere. Rocky Mountain National Park. For like. <laughs> we had 17 hours. Was our first date. Hours. We are walking around everywhere. So, okay. So, 
Oh, I made the broccoli soup you guys did the other day. My husband isn't a soup person and he loved it. Looking forward to buying your cookbook. Yay! Yay! Okay, so this one I'm making is going to be a mermaid type soap. I don't have any mermaid tails, but it's going to be mermaid <clears throat> colors, okay? By the way, you said something about a new product and everybody's just... Okay, I'm going to show you my new product in just a second. It has to do with my down? soap. Okay, so I have my oils up to 111 and my lye is 115. Okay, so I'm pouring in my lye water at 115. Check out my How to Make Soap for Beginners e-course if you want to learn how to make soap. Super simple. Um, I'm rinsing out my lye bucket. Also, if you want, check out my How to Make Soap YouTube channel because I have a ton of soaping videos on there too. Do I even want to know? Maxine just said, my husband killed my pet turkey. I got even with him and married him. He's been paying for it ever since. Oh my. <laughs> well, that's a new one, a pet turkey. Hmm. So share your YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm going to blend this. <laughs> oh wow christine you beat us all right there we go that looks very nice that is trace where you see how it drips along the top that is what trace is it's just where you can see the drips kind of hesitate before they fall in okay go this way thanks um uh, uh, so a couple people asking, what are you doing now? They're so just joining us. I am making soap because my salad dressings in Dining on a Dime cookbook went so quick. Thousand Island and Ranch, it takes like five minutes to make. Super yummy. <clears throat> so do I even want to know? <laughs> Pamela says the kids should care about how we met. <laughs> she said otherwise they wouldn't be here at all. That's true. <laughs> That's true. BJ and Ellie are on another adventure. They are on their way, or they are in Arizona right now. So they're having a good old time. So Christine asks, how long did you date before getting married? Hubby and I only knew each other five months before we got married, and this year we married 33 years. Wow. Well, you beat, you beat us. us. We Not by much. Six months. <laughs> six months. So, how old were we? How old were we? 22 and 24. 24. Yeah. Yep. So, 22 and 24. We were 22 and 24 when we met. Wait, is that yeah. right? And 22 and 24 Wait. when we got married. Mom no, 21 and 20 21 and 24 when we met. And Whoa, 22 I was and. The cradle there, girl. You were. <laughs> Man! Wow. You guys got married fast. Yes. Wow. Well, yeah, we I'm both knew we mistakes. both knew what we wanted. Couldn't let that go. I'm gonna learn from your mistakes. <laughs> Tasha wants to know if you're selling laundry soap on Etsy. What no, I'm not selling laundry soap on Etsy yet. I'm selling something else actually. So I'm gonna show you my new product that I'm selling in just a second here. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have to do a birthday song eventually. Uh oh. Where Is are your gloves, be... Miss Tara? My gloves are on my hand. <laughs> oh, I see. There must be. I must be reading from behind. Oh. Do you use the lye bucket for other uses? Yeah. Well, you can, but these I keep separate just because it's my it's my biz it's my business sort of now. But since I sell it, I keep it separate now. But before I made soap to sell, I um, just used them just for everything else. Laurel wants to know: Did you get a new stick blender? <laughs> uh, yes, my stick blender died. It says tested works. You must have gotten it at the thrift store. I did. I paid $1.50 for it. See right here? $2 and I paid $1.50 because it was like 20% off day or something. Um, Catherine wants to know how many dressings do you make? <laughs> Actually, I really don't make dressings all that often. This is the first I've made them in forever. should have you make them more. So, but I should make them more because they're really super good. Okay, so I'm doing three different colors of blue and green from a mermaid here. Um, there was another question. Oh, lie. Come up, Dave, for just a second. 
So let me talk to you about live for just a minute. Somebody asked me if I use the same bowl. Here's the thing. Lye is used in a ton of things and you don't even realize it. So it's really not dangerous to use lye in your regular kitchen bowls. Now I do it separately because I sell my soap, but if you um, wanna just use your kitchen stuff, it's totally fine. Oven cleaner is lye and people use oven cleaner all the time and then they go cook in their oven. It's no big deal. Drain cleaner is lye. People use drain cleaner all the time and then they wash it. So, thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie sent us a reminder that you uh, can be favorites. Thank you. What would I do without Jamie? Thank you, Jamie. Um, so, just thoroughly wash out your bowls. Throw them in the dishwasher after you've rinsed them out really well. And then they're perfectly fine. So, okay. Thank you. My friend Jamie reminded me that I forgot my fragrance, which is a oceany type fragrance smells super super good smell this one oh that does smell Doesn't really that good. good yep see stormy's asking did bj and ellie get to see the dust storm that went through arizona i don't oh, think we heard about it i didn't hear about it if they did <gasps> i don't know oh deborah says since watching my first show with you i started making soap now i own my soaping affair and it's doing great very good that's so exciting send me your link i want to see it Okay, so I put my fragrance in with my colors, and I'm going to mix them all up. I'm going to go from lightest to darkest, so I don't have to wash my stick blender in between. <laughs> wow, we've got some other good stories about <gasps> Oh, no, this is accelerating, like, very quickly. Wow. Oh dear. I this is not good. Nancy said six months for us too. It'll be forty six years in September. Wow. Is that, the, is that the magic formula? You think we can make it that long without killing each other? Don't wait too long to figure out what bothers you about each other. Okay. Okay, never mind. That's this not true. is not acting well <laughs> at all. So I'm just gonna get going here. This wasn't supposed to accelerate. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay. So this could be a very exciting show and we don't know it yet. What else is new? All right. <laughs> Okay, so I spilled a little bit of uh, my mixture here. Just gonna get that wiped up. Okay, and then let's get this out of the way. Man, I really need a bigger studio. Okay, so here we go. I'm getting my molds. And I have new molds on the way. I'm super, super excited. Hopefully they work this time. So. Do I need to back away? Is there about to be danger in the house? Well, I hope not. I'm really, really, Do I need really, to really move really my coffee not. so it doesn't get any soap? Yeah. Don't get your coffee in the way. Ellen wonders if the kids went to the painted desert. Uh, I have no idea. I know they went to the Grand Canyon and they were going to walk, try and walk down to the bottom today. I they were going to try to live stream, but they were trying to do a video call with us and it was kind of sketchy. Yeah. It was pretty though. Okay, so this is, wow, setting up. <laughs> Dad's backing up. Dad's moving away. <laughs> Putting both hands on the computer. <laughs> hmm, wow. Okay, so this is pretty thick, and let's see what we can do here. Looking good, looking good. Um, I do, Mike will put the link in there if he can find it, get my soap, my lye, we're talking about lye, at Essential Depot. Where is that link? Um... 
It is... You didn't print me for it. Oh, shoot. Can you open up one of my soap videos? The oh, last okay. one. It's in there. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I was looking. I do buy my light at Essential Depot because I know everybody's going to ask me that. And so, I love it. I've been buying it there for uh, a year now, something like that. And I find that they're the cheapest place, especially if you join their Greener Life Club. Uh, like this one that was two days ago? Yeah. If you join their Greener Life Club, um, it's a lot cheaper. Plus, you get like free shea butter. You get 20% off. I get um, my lie here? Yeah. And that's where I buy my lye. Oops, didn't get enough green down there. And, oh, this is really setting up. Should I type a, a Central Depot in here? Uh, just where I buy my lye is fine. <gasps> oh, my bucket's cracked. Well, don't you know, there you go. That's why I'm having a spillage problem. Okay. Um, smells good. And I really like their lye. It is cheaper than even the places that offer free shipping. I have calculated it many, many times and it is a lot cheaper. Okay, so this is not performing quite like I was hoping. Um, so we're just gonna do a spoon swirl here and see if we can get it to turn out. <laughs> Colors look nice, yes. Do I want to know what you're... still seeing some guesses, so I think some people are a little bit behind on oh. the video. Okay. It's so cute to see the guesses. Danny, are you making fudge for the occasion? Although you don't need an excuse to make fudge. No, I'm not. I'm trying to get weight off, not put weight on. So, okay. <laughs> so now, I'm tapping them down to get the air bubbles out. And... Move them down. Okay, so then let me grab my, totally forgot my thing. Okay. Let's see if we can still pipe this baby. I don't know. If we can, we'll try. So, Ocean type fragrances usually accelerate, but when I read the description on this one, I don't recall there being any mention of that happening, which is why I bought it. Whoa. Okay, this is really thick. This is really, really thick, but I think I can get it piped. Okay. Um, that's why you want to read the descriptions of your fragrances before you buy them. Oh, that's actually very lovely. Oh my, I'm happy. Okay, if we can get this done before it sets up, this will be great. Now, this is very, very warm, believe it or not. Okay, any other questions, dear, while we're... Um, Sorry. I don't... I'm not sure about questions, but, well, except Shannon wants to know our secret to a happy marriage. But then there's other great stories I'll tell you after that. Um, the secret to a happy marriage is you have to remember that you cannot kill him, even though <laughs> jail may be a vacation for you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew it would be some kind of smart aleck answer. <laughs> no, I mean, our secret is you can't fight about everything. You got to give up some things and it's called forgiveness grace, <laughs> grace. Called grace. mike accepts my lack of planning i accept his fear and anxiety and you do not what? really well okay you i don't tell people that on the show <laughs> i don't know if i accept it but i put up with it i should say ah uh. <laughs> um hey it's not nearly what it used to be. No. And that's it. I mean, you know, if someone's trying to improve themselves with things that they have problems with, you still got to accept it, you know? And same with yourself. So. 
Um, and you're like, oh, this smells divine. I even if it accelerated, I am loving the wait, smell of this. You put your fragrance oil in there. Right? I did. Yeah. Whoops. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, so um, we had some great comments here. People uh, seven says, I'm going to say this about that. 17 hours is the first date and you didn't kill each other. That means you were destined for each other. I mean, 17 hours, wow. Yeah, it was yeah. funny, 17 hours, that was a humongous long date. We just walked all over the national park and ate our lunch and walked some more and... Drove to a new location and did the same. Honestly. We visited like everything we could find yeah, in the park Yeah, I think day. we visited every single attraction in Rocky Mountain National Park on that day. And yeah <laughs> so uh <clears throat> we had some great stories Rhonda uh Rhonda said oh uh well Rhonda uh, this wasn't when I was originally thinking but Rhonda said my hubby and I met on a blind date two couples that were friends one couple was my friend the other couple was his friend 24 years ago they dated nine months wow met in the winter and married in the fall wow nice but uh where was it Denise said <laughs> My dad shot my mom with a BB gun when she was in the third grade, <gasps> and she still married him 60 oh, years man. this June. Sacred wow. Wonder said, I met my husband in 1979 high school history class. Who did you sit next to in class, Dave? Uh-oh. History class. <laughs> he won't answer because Gavin is here. <laughs> okay, now my soap is really setting up. Oh, come on, please let me finish piping. Is it getting hard or? Oh, it's getting super hard. Do you need the uh, extra squeezing Ugh, power? I don't think it'll. Oh man, come on. So close. Mm. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get. Come on. Mm. Wow. Oh, I'm exploding my bag. Oh no. Okay, come on, baby. We can do it. We're getting close. Ugh. So close. Come on. Wow. This fragrance really, really decided to go crazy. Am I going to make it, guys? I don't know. Am I going to make it? Oh. Ooh. This game is uh. Oh, it's going to go in there. It's... Now it's softening up again. Oh, brother. That's Tigger weird. bouncing is wondering, is this cold or hot process? This is cold process. That's you gone crazy. Ugh. But I still managed to get it piped anyway. Even though my piping got a little crooked here. Ooh, and I'm squirting it all over. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you my new product that I'm super excited about. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So... Have you guys been seeing those soapers? Let me wash my hands here. Hold on. Yeah, we just talked you. I'm sorry. Okay. So, have you guys been seeing... We have almost 750 subs. I mean, people watching. Wow! Thanks, guys! <laughs> you can do it with a, a strong arm. Woo! Like, that was intense. Emoji, okay, great. so have you guys seen Someone the new... Someone needs to invent something. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen the new sprinkles they have out? They're like super fancy sprinkles. Well, here's the thing, guys. With soap sprink with the sprinkles, they have like six lits and rock candy and that kind of thing in them. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy! Wow. Look at how beautiful that is! Oh, you just maxed oh, out. The I'm so happy! Look at it go. You blew out the sound. There's no sound. So there. Mike's gonna yeah, put a link really up. No I made my own soap sprinkles because I was super excited. Where's Mike? And oh, here. I um, wanted some soap sprinkles, but I didn't want to have to pick out all of the pieces that I didn't want. So I made my own soap sprinkles. So those of you guys who are into soaping and want to try this, 
Go check out Amazing Soap Sprinkles on Etsy. I got it up today. I'm so happy. I've only got a couple of varieties because I'm just going to see if people want it or not. And if they do, I'll keep going. But I am super, oh, look at, um, is this not the purtiest thing you ever saw? Myrna says, love it when you make soap on the show. Oh, thank you. There's still a hole in the one at the end of the one she's working on. Right there. Shoot. Although the soap goes off the edge too, so you might just yeah, have to slice that off. Yeah, that might just have to be a sample. I don't think I can get any more out. Linda says that's beautiful. Ugh. Well, I got a tiny bit out. Cindy wants to know where your mom is today. Uh, she's in Kansas. She, oh, she's, uh, my brother and sister-in-law sold their house and they're looking for a new one. And so she's with my sister-in-law looking at a new house. Hopefully. We hope it'll be a new house for them. Rebecca says, love your cookbook. It was a gift. And she <gasps> also asks, you. what is a super chat? A super chat is on, on uh, YouTube. If you want, you can donate when you make a chat uh, comment. And um, sometimes people do that just to be nice, but it also gives you like a big colored box so that's really obvious so that if we're going through comments and we have a hard time seeing them, you can see them. Or if you're just on the live dashboard, you can pop something like, hey! All right, woohoo, there's one. So what do you guys think? Are you loving it? So the thing with why I decided to make my own soap sprinkles was because I love this and I am just super excited. And so I wanted to be able to make sure that they were good for soap and didn't have any chocolate stuff like that that would not go well with soap. So that's why I made up my own uh, concoction. So Linda wants to know which comes first, making soap or dinner? <laughs> oh, making soap, soap of course. There's, just, <laughs> there's wow. just no doubt about it. <laughs> Oops, I need to look here. I, I lost Whoops. it. Ah, I didn't see who said it. Somebody wow, said this me, is really setting up. <laughs> Linda, I married my brother's best friend. It was so convenient. <laughs> well, there you go. Somebody All said right. they had a 24-hour day. They were surprised. She surprised they survived, and I, it ran off the screen just as I was trying to grab it. Amazing. Am I right, people? You should have seen yesterday's <laughs> show. So I couldn't get the camera to work. I couldn't get Mike's camera to work. Then I dump the camera, and I thought... I was gonna. I thought I was gonna spew lie all over the place, which is like the worst thing that can happen. I've never heard you scream before. And I thought lie was gonna go everywhere, which you do not want to do. You want to be really careful. But the camera tipped, and I couldn't catch it, and it scared me to death. But despite that, despite everything that kept going wrong yesterday, somehow I ended up with soap that looks nice. This one's going to be an ocean type. Now, this is going to turn a little bit browner. So it'll look more... David, David. David, don't shake it like that. So it'll look more like um, kind of sand and ocean, that kind of thing. Okay, other comments? Um, Christina is asking, what are the two books again? I'm going to share a link to our recommended items at Amazon because they're both on that page. One is Boundaries and the other one is... It's not my fault. And they're both yeah. by Henry Cloud and... Townsend. Townsend. Mm -hmm. uh, what's Townsend's name? John, I think. John Townsend, that's right. Um, let's see. Mary Alice is asking, do you think a lot of younger people are newly married, never learned to cook? All they know is fast food or microwave. It's true. We actually hear that a lot from people who have gotten our book. But that, yeah, it's great for people who want to learn how to cook. Because it's really not that yeah. hard to cook. It's just that nobody ever showed some people yeah. how when they were yeah. younger. So, uh, yeah. let's see. Okay, um, any more comments? And then I want to talk about something with people because I need some ideas. I, uh, Alice, I love everything you do. Love your channel. Thank Therese you. Teresa's is asking, when did you get the new slicer for your soap? Is that a new one or is that the same this one? This is the same one I've always had. Um, this is the same one I've always had. Um, okay, so do we have any other questions? Because I have a question for our viewers that I want them to help me with. Uh, Mary wants to know, where did you order the unicorns? Um, I ordered them off of Amazon, but they are out of stock. And so, yeah. Darlene wants to know, how did the kids' trip go? 
They got back last night and they had a blast. Oh, I just snapped. Oh, I snapped your slicing thing. wire. Hey, it's Tara. I'm live, but I'll be there. So will Mike. <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Um, so I just snapped my cutter. Pooey. Wow, that blue soap is gorgeous, Tara. Thank you. Okay, let's see. I don't even know what to do now. Um, Good grief. Beautiful I have been snapping soap, my... so talented. Love all your episodes. Uh, Angela wants to know why...